Today is the day where we will play our very first ever Champions League knockout round tie. And we've got the biggest of boys in the shape of Barcelona. It is the 16th of February. We've obviously gone through January. There's a bit of transfer business. First of all, leaving the club is Jaro Gamboa. He's kind of dropped down the pecking order as of late because of Brian, plus a new signing that we've also made in January. So I've decided to shift Gamboa on. Didn't get a lot of money for him. £3.1 million. I wanted to sell him in January. Nobody wanted to really buy him. In the summer, loads of clubs wanted him. Should have sold him in the summer. Also leaving the club is Chinese striker Li Ding. Could not get a new club in Latvia, so we've shifted him on. He's gone back to his native China on a free transfer as well, which is kind of disappointing. I did like Li Ding. I've just seen how much money he's getting paid. £105,000 a week. That's insane. Joining the club then, three transfers to discuss. Junior is first up. 18-year-old Brazilian striker who was released from... SEP, I can never remember what these acronyms are. Palmeiras, there we go. Signed from Palmeiras on a free transfer, got released, basically. That's normally what happens. I think, technically, he's got some very good numbers. Mentally, he's got some good numbers. Physically, he needs a bit of work. Physically, he needs to be a little bit quicker. But for a free transfer, Junior could be one for the future. On the left-hand side, we have brought in Lee Jong-Pil from Chelsea. He's also been out on loan to a few teams. I think they originally signed him from Pohang Steelers in his native South Korea. He's come in for £4.7 million, which sounds like a lot of money, but we've kind of got that money to spend. And also, I brought him in because he's South Korean, and sometimes, depending on how good the player is, they turn around and say, he's a really good signing from South Korea, you've made a whole load of money through shirt sales. Didn't happen, but Lee is in. And the big January signing is Arta Thomas, signed from today's opponent's Barcelona. He's cost about £11.5 million. He was out of contract at the end of the season, but we couldn't, literally, we could not sign him on a free transfer because they wouldn't sell him. As in, not they wouldn't sell him, he wouldn't agree a contract. He just refused, outright refused. And he had a few other teams who were actually making bids for him, so I thought, you know what, I can't miss out on this chance. We've jumped for it. It's cost a bit of money but I think he's going to be a very good player, particularly when you consider we've got Ali Al-McKaney, we've got uh, Haroldo, and if one of those players, Lemkins as well, if one of those gets injured, we don't really have too much backup behind him. Thomas is arguably now one of our best strikers. And that is it for transfer business. You can see as well on the right-hand side, Gudermanis has gone on loan to Riga. So has Skopenko. He's left on a permanent deal. He's a youngster. A couple of other players going to Riga. This man also going to Riga. And Meta picking up this man on a loan deal. You can tell if somebody from Latvia makes an offer for one of my players, for the most part, I don't even try and negotiate a deal. I just accept it nowadays. Before we get to the Barcelona matches, I just want to talk briefly about Riga. They won their group. I don't think I, I even looked at this at the end of last episode. I was supposed to and completely forgot, but they won their group ahead of Sporting. They lost one match, which was against Valor of Iceland. They beat Sporting twice. They beat Shekindija twice. They beat Valor once. They went through at the top of their group, which means they don't even get to play in the first knockout round of the Europa League. They go straight through to the second round. And I think if we have a look at our schedule... That is probably going to take place before our second Barcelona match. Is it going to? Yes, it will. It will take place on the same day. Speaking of Barcelona, let's hopefully beat them. The opening match then is going to be in a snowy Latvia. Up front, we do have Arta Thomas playing against his former team of Barcelona. I don't know if any of these players are any good. I'm going to assume probably. Is that Thierry Small playing as a left back for them? Is that Southampton's new signing Thierry Small playing as a left back for Barcelona? Yes, yes it is. And as a Southampton fan, if he turns out to be this good in real life, I'm going to be very, very happy. First highlight of the game in a snowy and rainy Latvia. Sione with a free kick after five minutes. Berger outside the penalty area goes for a long range effort, hits it over the bar. I think Ivle probably would have had that covered anyway. Now we've got a chance through Ronnie Ruiz. It's towards Benavides. It's actually towards Max Cohen. And Max Cohen has put the little Latvian side 1-0 up against Barcelona in the Champions League. Why? How is this happening? How is this happening? I'm not going to say it, because every time I have said it before that I think we might win a competition, we get knocked out like 6-0 by Rangers. I'm not going to say it, but we're doing a pretty good job at the moment. We are still only under 10 minutes on the clock, though. Joyce to Sancho. He's going to go across into the middle to Berger. Right-hand side is the fullback making a bit of a run. Conte Sal plays it back to Sanacua, maybe, in towards the penalty area. Rodriguez is in front of him. 
Benavidez gets a big clearance upfield and Arta Thomas heads it down to Geraldo, passes it straight to Kenny. That could have been a second chance. Toussaint Yao, long ball. Arta Thomas not scored for the Skins Academy just yet. And he's managed to do it. Yes, kind of. That's his first ever goal. We're 2-0 up against Barcelona. Probably should have been a, an own goal from the defender. What's happening? What's happening here? Still barely 10 minutes played. We're on, what, 11 and a bit minutes. Berger with the ball for Barcelona. Zizi steals it. Ruiz down that right-hand side to Thomas. Now Max Cohen, the two goal scorers. Thomas once again in towards the penalty area. Is he going to get his second? He did. He did. With 3 nil up. I'm, I can't speak. With 3 nil up against Barcelona after 12 and a half minutes. 11 and a half minutes. I've, I've added an extra minute for fun. Still not quite 20 minutes on the clock. Barcelona once again with the ball. But every time this has happened so far, that would have been goal of the season if that went in. It's gone off for a corner. Very good save from Ivle. So, Sione is going to take the corner. Crosses it in towards the middle. Kenny heads well over the bar. 3-0 to the Skins Football Academy against Barcelona in the Champions League first knockout round. What is happening? Almost at half time and Barca once again starting with the ball. We don't seem to start highlights at the moment. Sanacua gets inside, cuts past one player, plays it across to this man. Is he going to go for a shot? Plays it on the ground to Joyce. Joyce's first time effort hits the post and Toussaint Yao with a game saving or a goal save. It's not game saving. We're 3-0 up with a goal saving tackle there to prevent Barca from getting potentially back into this. Thierry Small, it's a clearance though from Toussaint Yao. Brian's going to pick this ball up. Are we going to get a fourth before half time? Brian Sanchez down that right hand side into the penalty area. He's got plenty of options in the middle. He's been pushed in the back. Referee, referee, what's going on? Thomas Ruiz, how, how have we not scored? How have we not made it four? How have we not made it four? Rodriguez, the Chilean, picks it up. Highlight ends. How, how are we not 4 0 up? 3 0 against Barcelona at half time in the Champions League. I mean, I genuinely don't know what to say. I have no idea what to say. I, this is where I will fall down tactically. And by fall down tactically, I mean, I won't change anything and then we might concede six in the second half. Max Cohen with the ball. First highlight of the second half. Cohen's going into the penalty area. He's gone down. Thierry Small's pushed him over. We're going to get VAR. It might be 4-0. VAR has awarded the penalty. The former Barcelona man steps up and Arta Thomas gets his hat-trick on his first ever appearance in the Champions League for the Skins Football Academy against his former employer with 4-0 up against Barcelona. What do we even do here? Like, what do we honestly do? Geraldo's on a 6.7. Do we look at bringing him off? Do we look at bringing off Ronnie Ruiz, who's looking a bit tired? We don't have, um, obviously, in the middle of the pitch, we don't have Maxims Baron, obviously, he's currently out injured. A throw for Thierry Small. It's a clearance by O'Brien. It is. Brian Sanchez heads the ball forward. Doesn't manage to find a blue and yellow shirt. And now, once again, Barcelona coming forward. Rodriguez, the Chilean, with a great tackle. Plays it back, though, to Berger. Number seven. A famous Barcelona number seven, possibly. Right-hand side is Sanacur. Once again, into the penalty area. It's a cross-field ball. Are we going to stop this? What we everything is Everything's going our way. Absolutely everything is going our way. That was ridiculous. Into the final 20 minutes, and I'm going to do some changes. Haroldo's going to come off. Lemkins is the man to come on for him. Do we also look at when we've got some tired, tired legs in the middle of the pitch? Actually, it's not even in the middle. It's on the wings, isn't it? We're going to take off Brian. Implagiadzo, whatever his name is, is going to come on on that left-hand side. We're looking potentially at Cohen or Ruiz also going to be coming off at some point in the next few minutes. But for the moment... We're just going to clock watch. Into the final 10. We've still got that one sub to make. O'Brien's throw to Lemkins. Back to O'Brien. Across to Elson Zizi. Lemkins in the penalty area. Please make it five, lads. Please make it five. Max Cohen's there. And Max Cohen has made it 5-0 against Barcelona. 5-0. Is this actually happening? We are going to do the Ronnie Ruiz substitution. Milhem is the man to come on. Milhem's starting to get close to first team football. It's weird because he's not very good, but he's starting to get there due to injuries and so on. 5-0. We've just beaten Barcelona, arguably one of the best football teams in the world. 5-0. I just had to make sure that that was recording because the last thing that I want now is for that to never have existed on the internet. We've won a match 5-0 against Barcelona. We've got to go do it again, but before then I think we've got like a month of football to play. At the famous new Camp, it's Barcelona again. And anything anything other than a defeat, I'll be happy with. I Realistically, I, I'm not committing to this, but at 5-0 up, 
you kind of have to hope that we're in a good position to get through to the next round. But it's not guaranteed. We are barely a minute on the clock. And Arthur Thomas, who scored a hat-trick in the first leg, is he going to open the scoring in the second? No, he doesn't. And Maxim Baranovs scuffs his effort wide. It remains nil-nil. We should be 1-0 up already. Chance for Barcelona, possibly. Sanacua's throw. It's gone over everybody. Ronuiz chucks a leg out to try and steal the ball. Conceição's curling effort goes wide of Ivlay's post. Still nil-nil. Barcelona already looking a little bit better than what they did in the first leg. Sanacua once again with the free kick this time. Berger, Sanacua's carried on his run. Joyce, right-hand side. It's intercepted by Brian Sanchez. Ruiz back to Sanchez, down the left, gets past the tackle, lumps it forward. Arthur Thomas controls it, gets past his man into the penalty area. A terrible effort from the Spanish striker. Hits it well wide of the goalkeeper's post. Still nil-nil. Another chance in a reasonable position. In fact, that's a very good position. Joyce, number nine, curling effort into the top corner. He's hit the post. It's fallen to El Fassi, and El Fassi makes it 1-0 to Barcelona. It is still 5-1 to the Skins Football Academy overall. An away goal will save the day. If we get an away goal, I can properly calm down. I'm a bit concerned. Barcelona are very good at football and could easily score four more goals. They've got themselves another free kick and another good position. Joyce again, straight in the middle. It's a curling effort. Ivle manages to tip that one over the bar, conceding a corner. Ten minutes or so left to play of the first half. Corner's going to come in from Sione. Right-footed towards Berger at the front. Baranovs heads it clear. Back to Sione. Sancho in the penalty area. Gets past his man. Max Cohen scuffs the ball clear. Arthur Thomas. Play it behind you. Or do that. I was going to say, if he just knocked it behind himself, Sanchez was behind him. Thomas into the penalty area. Needs a bit of support. Alfassi's there. Ronnie Ruiz is there. It's blocked and cleared. And just end the highlight, please. Game, end the highlight. Barca doing a bit of a counter-attack. Right-hand side is Conte Sao. He's controlled it well. He's got Rodriguez with him. It kicks it straight into the defender, but Rodriguez is going to get pulled back for the push. And it's another free kick and another good position. Barcelona are looking very, very good at the moment. Sione's free kick comes in straight into the hands of the goalkeeper from the central defender. Sione with another free kick and another good position. It's effectively a corner, that one. And it's just gone straight over the bar. That wasn't the highlight, was it? Half time and uh, we are weathering the storm if we just scored that first chance or that first couple of chances. If we got one of those in, we would be laughing right now. We need to get ourselves that second goal. We need to get ourselves that second goal. I don't know what I said there. Probably should have read that. Looking at match ratings, Keith, Rodriguez, Baranovs, Ruiz, Cohen, Geraldo, all playing pretty poorly at the moment. But I don't really want to change too much because this system works. We've proved that it works. The problem is the players just aren't doing their job at the moment. Sione with a corner, 60th minute. It's Thierry Small, back post, and it's managed to find its way in. Di Brigidia, maybe, with the goal for Barcelona. We've got 30 minutes to not concede three. That sounds easy, doesn't it? And in order to do it, I think we are going to have to change absolutely everything up. Haroldo's going to come off. Elson Zizi is going to be the man to sit in defence. Cohen is coming off because he's just playing poorly, isn't he? I mean, who do we even put on the right wing? Who do we put on that right-hand side? I've gone for Ismail Silva. I'm not sure whether that's a good idea, but that's really all we've got that we can go for. Keith O'Brien's playing badly as well, so we're going to do Jack Kershaw as well on that right-hand side. That's all of our changes. We are going defensive. We're going to see the corner as well from Sione. It's Thierry Small there. Doesn't get on the end of it. Berger's going to collect it. He's got a few options. He's gone off towards that left-hand side. Sanakua, who... Sanakua's been a name that keeps getting announced by me. I feel like he's a pretty good footballer. Although, saying that, it's Barcelona. They're all pretty good footballers. Sanakua into the penalty area. Gets past a few players. Ivle can hold on to the effort from the right back. And the highlight is going to end there. Sione with a free kick. Almost 20 minutes left to play. Goes over the bar. It's going to be a goal kick. Looking at those match stats, we have had four shots, none of them in the second half. We haven't had a single shot in the second half. Barca have had 22, 23 now, 12 of them on target. Time is ticking away. Sione with a free kick, it's towards the back post. Brian Sanchez heads the ball clear for us. Thierry Small is going to collect it though. Down the left-hand side, the Englishman. He's going to run into that bit of space. He's going to cross it, kicks it straight into the man. And once again, Thierry Small has it, though, crosses it into something out there. Benavidez can clear the ball upfield. Nobody's going to collect it in a blue and yellow shirt. Sanakua does, though, for Barca. Tries to get past Sanchez. Down to Berger. Now Dai. 
We've got three minutes of normal time. Brian Sanchez sticks a leg out and steals the ball. Just time waste, buddy. Just time waste as much as possible. Or lose it to Berger. Also an option. Berger's now running direct towards goal. Thierry Small spins, goes for goal. Blasts it into the back of the net. It is 3-0 to Barcelona. Can we hold on? I mean, do we even want to try and change anything here? I, mean, we, I feel like I don't want to, but I also feel like we need to. Thomas is just... I'm just going... No, not no, no. Sit in the middle there. No, somebody go there. There we go. You can, you're going to have to play as a central midfielder, buddy. I'm sorry, but that's what you're going to have to do. We've got one option on that right-hand side. That's all we're going for. Ismail Silva's going to hopefully be able to do something like that. Transition, counter. And we got really, really quick. Distribute. No, slow down the pace. Don't go quickly. Slow down the pace. Over the top. Just kick it as long as you possibly can. Over the top. Oh, don't you, I don't even know what to do here. You know what? Just go for that. Just go with that. We, we're playing strikerless. It's not the type of strikerless that you originally thought it would be. We are, we've hit the 93. We've hit the 93. Surely, surely, despite the fact that we have been battered at the new Camp, we are still going to be going through. Sione's effort is over the bar. The full-time whistle goes. And I could not be happier with a 3-0 defeat. We deserved to lose by so much more. Ivle getting a 7.2. Basically, everyone else on our team was average at best. Sanchez on a 6. Ruiz on a 6.2. Baron on a 6.4. We were garbage. And we are through to the second knockout round of the Champions League at the expense of Barcelona. Skins Academy win in Champions League first knockout round. It's weird. Literally, we've just beaten the team that won the competition three years ago. We've beaten the team that won the competition in 29-30. How have we done that? How have we managed to do that? Also, Riga. How are Riga getting on? Because I think Riga probably have played both of their matches. They have. They lost against Red Star. Red Star, really? They lost. To, they you beat Sporting twice, lads, and you lose to Red Star. You did get a, a point. Oh, I say a point. You got some coefficient points from the second leg, but you are out, unfortunately. So we are once again the only Latvian team flying the flag. Atletico Madrid, Porto, Milan, Bayern Munich, Man City, PSG, and Spurs, and the Skins Football Academy of Latvia in the Champions League quarterfinals. Spurs will be playing Bayern. I honestly don't know who we want. Milan, maybe? Atletico Madrid versus PSG. It is Man City versus Porto. It is Milan. We are playing Milan. Now, I'm pretty sure we've played Milan about 35 times. We also get the opportunity to see who we'll be playing if we get past Milan. And it is going to be Manchester City or Porto. Now, realistically, we shouldn't even got to this point in the competition. Let's let's dream. Let's stick our head in the clouds for a little bit. If we can get past Milan, we should be able to get past Porto, in my opinion. Man City, we've beaten Man United. We've also beaten PSG. We've beaten Barcelona. Let's face it, we can, we can beat anyone. We can beat anybody on our day, apart from Milan, apparently. We've played them four times in the last few seasons. I say the last few seasons. We played them a few years ago. What, four years ago now? Three years ago? In the Champions League group stages where we drew... And we lost. We also played them a long, long time ago, back in 2021. You know, real life time. Literally, this date's technically in the past for real life. We lost both matches 3-1, but we still put up a fight. So, realistically, I think we've improved in the last three years since we played them in the, uh, in the Champions League. So hopefully we can do the same again. Maybe, maybe emulate that result, beat them. Beat them at home, draw away, that'll do. Finally, before we end this episode very quickly, we have just had our youth intake, and this man, I say man, he's 15 years old. He's got a wonderful birthday, by the way, 20, 27th of March. There's a certain manager who also has that birthday. He is apparently going to be very good. Five-star potential ability, one-and-a-half-star current ability at 15. I'm liking the look of Mazurs. That's what we're going to call him. That probably might not be how it's pronounced, but that's what we're going to go with. An episode of two halves then today, 5-0 at home, 3-0 defeat away from home against Barca, but we do set up the quarter-final tie against AC Milan, which will obviously be the next episode. Thank you very much for watching this one. If you did enjoy, do please remember to leave a like, hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and you're enjoying, and I'll see you over in Italy.